in the back, sir. Yeah, uh, my question is, compared to the, the BI2 in the market right now, what do they manage about their Oracle BI2? So I think the question was, what, what are some of the additional advantages of the Oracle OBIE versus the other uh, business intelligence tools? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think we heard two of those out of Joe. I'll, I'll add a third. I just didn't have enough time, but uh, you know, it's the only metadata model I know that can actually do heterogeneous access to data. Right. Uh, other BI vendors can put heterogeneous data, in other words, um, that, that other company in northwestern United States that has a smaller Windows-based database as well as Oracle and things like that. They can, but they have to have separate metadata models for everything and then they bring it together. OBIE's <coughs> model can actually bring in multiple sources in one subject. Very important. It makes it a lot easier to do than if you're doing a simple thing like financials where you might have eBiz Suite or Edwards or PeopleSoft, but your planning and budgeting system is still in some Excel spreadsheet. One metadata model, all data, very easy. Other? Yes, um, uh, what, one advantage that we see uh, with Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition is the capabilities that you have when you're building your dashboards. Uh, I had mentioned during my presentation that you can allow your end users many different permutations within a dashboard that you don't necessarily need to roll answers out right away. And what I mean by that is, you know, on the various different reports that you're deploying, you can enable sorting on the dashboard, and then you can also enable columns, like I'm getting a little bit into the functionality here, but you can imagine now one report that you swap out metrics for, and you can sort it ascending to descending. So suddenly you've got, you know, one report that you can rank numerous different ways, and that's just one report on the dashboard. So there's a lot of functionality that you can implement and roll out that really allows your end users uh, to get and analyze data where they're not just looking at reports. They can slice and dice, look at different views, drill down uh, the hierarchy, drill two different reports, um, so enable sorting, save their preferences on the dashboard. All those various different features and functionality really allow us to develop uh, dashboards that are very usable as well. One more point I'd point to is scalability. I think hopefully as you're attending these sessions, you see that the, all, all the customers we have speaking, and in most cases, they're talking about hundreds and thousands and tens of thousands, and there's a session we're doing on Thursday where there's a customer looking at scalability in a hot global environment with hundreds of thousands of users. I see a lot of BI tools and a lot of BI projects out there that they talk about their great success with 20 and 50 users. Any BI tool can handle 50 users. It's when can you handle hundreds and thousands of users and do that in a scalable fashion. Scalable both in terms of number of users, but scalable in what it takes to support that many users. I think OBIE is pretty unique in that space.